Hello guys, in this video, let's take a look and get used with the chat TPD and implement that into our store, into our online store for making some customer support. So this is a very powerful tool that's going to be helping us a lot for actually making use for our online store so you can do a lot of steps now speaking about if you want to do something really really interesting like let's say for example uh have this as a really small application to implement that into your online store for example this is my online store from shopify i'm going to click into online store and i'm going to go into view my store so i will be more than happy to have the actual uh link in here to let's say that I people want to contact me and I want to contact make people contact my chat DPD so they can be answering all the questions but uh, unfortunately we can't do that but what we can do is a few different steps for example here speaking about the chat DPD how we can use this as a tool to help us with the support with the let's say the most frequent asked questions I'm going to go back here into my Shopify. Of course, um, I'm going to leave you a link down below, guys, in the description if you want to check it out. Like um, the free version, the free tool of Shopify. There's no free version. Of course, there's a free trial mode of 14 days, but there's actually one real offer that you can have the basic or the startup plan of Shopify for the next three months only by paying just $1, which I think it's really, really cheap. But uh, let's go back into the actual subject here. So what I want to do here is to go into pages. And here into pages, as you can see, I do have the FIQ section, the about us and the contact section. So how do I actually um, use the frequently asked questions? So speaking about what did I did here is I didn't have to do actually anything. I make the chat GPT help me with the FIQ section. So I tell them I have a online store focused into clothes and I need help with uh, some FIQ questions. I hit into the answer mark and the app is going to sell it to me that let me know what specific questions do you would like me to help with so I need to answer questions about the um, let's say like the different like the the shipment status tracking orders um, and lastly, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to try to look for something that people some uh, asked. So I'm going to go back here. And here, as you can see, here's the fabric weight, lightweight, the regular fit. So I think that I need to go back here and the compounds. Here into the end of mark. Of course, here are some samples, responses to frequently asked questions about shipment, status, tracking orders, and returns. So this is something that I need that I is going to be helping me a lot to with the FIQ section. Of course, this is like for customer support, but I think this is like the best way to approach to the customer if you don't know what actually say speaking about the um, the actual usage of um, of the store and the customer. So you have this big transparent between the machine and the customer i mean you don't have to focus a lot into that but here as you can see i have five examples for example how can i track my order you can track your order by clicking into the track order i received a damaged item what should i do we apologize contact our customer service i changed my mind and i don't want the product anymore can i return this can i exchange an item um when will my order be shipped so i'm gonna go and copy this information and I'm going to paste that in here. But if you want to use an HTML file so you can have a little bit more of a design, you can ask ChatGPT to do that for you. Let's say, um, can you show me this example in a HTML file with a minimalistic um, style? Hit into the answer mark and just like that just like that 
the computer is going to be analyzing, I mean, ChatGPT is going to be analyzing our question, and you should be receiving that in no time. So I can go, I can go back here into my um, actual Shopify FIQ section, and I can paste that in here, and then we're good to go. If you want to implement like a customer support, what I can certainly just do. If you are looking for, let's say, ChatGPT to go live with your customers and they just answer your questions, so on and on, I think that this might be a little bit different and hard to do. But if you want like that kind of implementation, you can try to look for an alternative budget. For example, go into applications, go into apps and sale channel settings, or go into the recommended apps. And here, I want to go for the Shopify App Store. Here into the Shopify app store, what I can do is try to find the live chat. For example, I'm going to type my keywords, live chat. Here it is, live chat. There we go. And I have the chat route, I have the reamazed, gorgeous TDO live chat help center FIQ page and the Avada help center of the live chat. So I want to look for a free plan available. So I, we, we do have a free plan available in here so I can add this application into my actual website so I'm gonna need to accept the integration of this app into Shopify this would be taking no time I'm gonna hit into install application and there we go just like that we are inside the chat route.io and what I just need to do is to verify this app and enable that into my store so just in case you want to make some live chat but if you uh, want to make usage of the actual chat GPT, of course there are a few options that we can use. For example, the option that I just told you before. So speaking about the same example that we asked before, I asked the same stuff, but I asked for an HTML file and a minimalistic style. And the computer is generating me the minimalistic style of the FIQ section. So what I just need to do is to wait till the app finished the code and I can paste that into my FIQ section. And here it says content. As you can see, here's an HTML file. I'm going to tap here, enter mark, enter mark, and I paste my code. Really, really simple to use. So as you can see, here is our FIQ page customize. So I can go back here and I just paste the code, hit into save. And I should see this as an editor. And boom, here it is already added. So maybe we can't use the chat GPT as a live chat. I'm pretty sure that this will be available in no time in the future. But um, what we can do is whether choose another application that works into Shopify, or if not, what you can do is to actually make usage of the chat GPT to help you uh, fail and be a little bit more professional um, speaking about to when you want to make some interactions with your customers and it's going to be helping you a lot. So with that being said, guys, we have reached into the very end of the video, but just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. So really, really great apps to use here. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more amazing tools about the actual chat EBD and implement this into your online store. Thank you for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.